Hey there, um, my name is Callie from Integris Neuro. I wanted to make a quick video to show an excellent website or resource when studying for any board exam. Um, ILE or International League Against Epilepsy or epilepsy.org is an amazing resource to utilize, especially if you're new to the field or maybe you've not had as much exposure to some of the many epilepsy syndromes, especially the childhood epilepsies. On the website, um, they do offer pictures of EEG patterns. You can read EEG, EEG descriptions, um, the causes of these syndromes, and even related syndromes or differential diagnosis. I spent a significant amount of time on this website when I was studying for my CLTM. And I wanted to just take a brief moment to show you around the website and just show you what makes it such an excellent resource. Um, so I'm going to pick one of these childhood epilepsies. Um, so juvenile absence epilepsy, and it gives you a general overview of what this epilepsy is, maybe why it occurs, when it happens. It, show, it talks about the seizure types that are here. And then in the EEG window, uh, it does show you, or, or it puts a written description there, but that does show you a picture in addition of what you could expect to see. Um, they do talk about any imaging that would be done, you know, there's nothing for this type of syndrome. And then uh, whether or not this is genetics or if it's structural or what might be the cause of these syndromes, and then any differential diagnosis that's associated with that. So you can see why this is such an excellent resource because it literally just breaks everything down into small bite-sized pieces that you can actually take in. Um, I know under, I believe, myoclonic, yeah, it just talks about the seizure types. And then on EEG, there's just a written description, not a picture, but it's still okay because the written descriptions are so excellent. And then same thing, I think the neonatals also have the pictures, whether or not this is genetic, if it's going to become something else in the future, you know, with West syndrome, a lot of times they get the Lenoka stout, uh, Otohara syndrome. So seizure types. Um, and then the very last thing is probably my favorite thing, especially for people who may have not had an opportunity to see a lot of seizures um, in their time. You know, it's not all the time that you get to see a generalized tonic seizure. Um, they do have videos available for that. So you can actually see as an adolescent female with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy who ends up having a clonic tonic clonic seizure. And I'm just going to open it and then close it really quick just to show you that it is a video of a real patient. And then um, as the video goes on, you can see her actually have the seizure. So you can find the clinical man manifestations instead of just in written form, you're seeing it in a visual form, which I think is excellent. Um, I'm not going to go over the entire website. I just wanted to show a glimpse of the free learning opportunity. So thank you so much for watching this video. Good luck on your boards or your future endeavors. And I hope you guys have a great day.